First Coast Heart Walk is coming up Saturday, September 15th, and it is for a great cause. It raises awareness and funds, and here to tell us all about it and seven steps to have a healthier life, I have Dr. Kusumoto with us, a cardiologist at Mayo Clinic. And can you start out, Mayo Clinic, they're playing a really active role with the whole Heart Walk as well, right? That's right. So Mayo Clinic has had an incredible uh, role with regards to the Heart Walk for the last many years, actually, and has been a primary supporter for the Heart Walk. And it's just, again, really important for people to get involved and, again, to raise awareness. And that's kind of what we're talking about today. And you have seven steps, and they're kind of basic steps, but they're really important to know about. Absolutely. So people think that heart disease and taking care of hearts is really complicated. We have all these fancy tools, etc. But it really gets down to seven very simple things that have been put together by the American Heart Association. So let's go through them, Mark. So first, get active. So this gets to something that we'll talk about later, this heart walk that is so important for the American Heart Association. You guys talked about the importance of play earlier. Well, you have to continue play into adulthood. And everyone talks that, oh, you have to go to the gym, et cetera. No, it's something very simple. All you have to do, what I do, I don't take the elevator at work. I walk around at lunch. I just take that prescribed time to do a little bit of exercise just to be active. The second thing is to eat better. This is something here in the United States that is critical. We tend to be so overweight because we tend to eat things out of bags, et cetera. We need to eat locally. And in fact, one of the American Heart Association's important initiatives this year is to eliminate food deserts actually here in Jacksonville. Finally, that gets to that last point. It's important to that eat healthy and lose weight. So that's the first three. The next two, these are the things that you do to when you go to the doctor. You think about uh, controlling your cholesterol, taking pills, et cetera. But these are things that you can do at home with your diet and just eating in a smart fashion. Managing your blood pressure. Again, something that you think about going to the doctor about to take pills. No, in fact, diet has a great impact with regards to blood pressure. In addition, as we now talk about the next step in terms of getting active, if you get active, that too lowers your blood pressure. In addition, if you reduce your blood sugar, that too will help. And finally, probably the most important thing is to stop smoking. Smoking is so impactful on people's health. And if people stop smoking, in fact, they can really improve their heart health. So seven really simple things. And one of the things I like about this, you have control over a lot of this. Exactly. It's lifestyle choices. Exactly. Can you talk about that? Because I would imagine when patients come in, just losing weight, 10, 15 pounds, makes a dramatic difference on their overall health. Absolutely. So losing 10 or 15 pounds makes a huge difference with regards to reducing sugar, reducing diabetes, reducing hypertension. This reduces not only the risk of heart disease, but also stroke. I mean, it's really the heart and the brain together. So people can live much longer lives by doing very simple things just to improve their own health and being active. And when you talk about health care, the cost is starting to rise. Actually, it's been yes. rising for quite some time. So some of these medications you might be able even to get off of if you have a healthy lifestyle with diet and things that you can control. And it's empowering to think of it that way. Absolutely. Not only getting off medications, but avoiding expensive procedures, things like that that actually are potentially risky. I do these cardiac procedures for a living. I'd rather not do it. You'd really like to go upstream and take care of patients and prevent heart disease and not have to take care of the heart disease once it's already there. And one last question. If somebody wants just like a baseline of where they are as far as their cardiology or as far as their heart health, what do you recommend as far as an appointment? What are some things they should get done? Well, they clearly should go to their primary care physician. They should talk about their blood pressure. They should talk about the simple seven. They should talk more than just about medications, but they should talk about their overall health. But they should also think about going to the American Heart Association Heart Walk because, again, there will be opportunities there to actually learn about some of these things. Well, thank you so much for your time. These are great tips. And right now, let's leave all the information for the Heart Walk. So it's coming up. It's Saturday, September 15th. It's at Met Park. The activities begin at 8 o'clock. And then for more information, you can go to that website, firstcoastheartwalk.org. Thanks again. And right now, we're going to send it over to Rance.